Summer's calling Guys, the tour is officially over. We just did our last show in Aurora, Colorado. Um, absolutely the best tour of my life, like first tour of my life, but like the best time of my life with the boys. I wouldn't change it for the world. I had an absolute blast. Right now I'm in Colorado at my family's house. And what I haven't been telling you guys, I've been hyping this up on my Instagram, but not on YouTube much. I bought a school bus. So like I got the school bus, I'm gonna gut it, turn it completely into like a conversion RV, something I can completely live out of so I can be just on the road full time whenever I want and just like get up and go just have a place to crash anytime I want in the bus I'm so stoked about it so we haven't really done any work we've taken a few screws out but we haven't done much on the bus at all so I'll just give you like a, a look at it beforehand it's not huge it's like the perfect size for like good enough gas mileage and then just like everything it's even got a stop sign it's like a real bus but the cool thing about this one is that there's a door right here most school buses don't have this so you can get right into the driver's seat and then all the controls and everything are right here. We'll go to the other side, which is a little bit more interesting. But this side, door opens up wide. It's my little brother Daniel, by the way. He's helping me with the whole project. So come in and you got all the controls and everything. And then the whole bus, it's like four seats deep. Yeah, so it's like four seats deep. Um, both sides, it's, the only problem is I'm six foot one and this thing's like, five foot eight high. So I'll be crouching a little bit, but I couldn't care less. This thing's gonna be insane to work on. Right now we're gonna gut all of the seats, pull them all out, throw them out of the RV, gut down the floor, put a whole new floorboard in, and then just a ton of stuff. I gotta put a bed in, a kitchen, some extra space to carry friends. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a big process, but I love this bus already. It's like easily my favorite vehicle I've ever owned. Look at this, this is probably one of the cooler parts of it. What? That's so cool. Everything here is like super dirty because everything, all the roads are just completely dirt. There's no gravel roads at all. So everything's super dirty. You gotta clean everything in this thing. Turn it like completely around, put in a new radio with Bluetooth, maybe new speakers. Just make it look good. I'm stoked. Oh, dude, I'm so stoked. This looks so cool. I love it. Right now we're gonna start ripping everything out and uh, I'll keep you guys updated on the progress of how it goes from now on. So we just finished getting the rest of the seats undone. This one was such a pain, but we got it. And then, so now the bus is officially it's completely empty. Um, I don't know if you guys like could see earlier, but like the height problem is like legit. Want my shoulders to touch almost? It's like five feet high from here. So yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be fun. We still gotta rip out the whole floors, which. When we get all the floors ripped out today, and then tomorrow just like start over, start building cabinets and everything. So we'll get started on that. All right, so here's where we're at. We decided, we finished taking all the seats out, and then we took all the linoleum off. And now we decided we're gonna take all the wood that's on the ground right now, take it up because it's just like really old and like rotted. So we got, I'm working on a little pile right now. I'm just, we're taking all of it off, we'll lay down brand new wood, and then hopefully put down like a cool design as like the, the baseboard of the RV. The sun is setting, it's the end of the first day. Um, we actually got a lot taken care of. Got all the seats completely pulled out and we ripped up all of the all of the linoleum and all of the wood that was on the bottom. Pulled it all out, gutted it. So tomorrow I'm going to into town to get some wood to place down on the ground, keep it insulated. And then hopefully we're gonna find some chairs because I don't want to be like the only chair in the front. I want to add like something for the ladies to sit on, you know? But basically that's the end of today. And we're gonna pick it up day two tomorrow. We started day two, we drove like a two hours into town and we're looking at like flooring on what I wanna put in the bottom of it. And just like kind of comparing like what's a good deal versus what's just like an absolute rip off. And I think we're gonna go with like these like boards that like fold into each other instead of just like laying down plywood. And it's gonna look really nice. All right, okay, it's still day two. Um, we just got back, spent like forever in the store. Legit, got up at 7 a.m., got back at 5 p.m 
just like running errands, getting all the parts that we need for like the next day. So right now what I'm doing is I gotta finish scraping all the rest of the tiny stuff off the bottom and then, which is taking forever because it's like insanely hard. But dude, look at this beautiful sunset right here. This is like one of my favorite parts of Colorado. It's just so beautiful here. And then it's just sunsets like this every single night right over that hill. But so what I'm doing is I'm cleaning it out. I'm gonna mop, sweep, get it all nice and like ready. Because tomorrow we're laying down all the wood that we need in there, putting it down and then adding the cabinets. Let me show you also the cabinets that we bought. I'm hitting a resale shop to get all the parts that we need because we could just get like, we didn't have to get the exact color for everything because we're just gonna stain everything the same color. But we got this, this table right here, which is gonna be the kitchen counter. And then this is a sink that we bought. The sink was $5, crazy. And then we got this counter. So that's gonna go on the bus. And then we also got all this wood flooring that we gotta take apart and put together in the bus. It's gonna be forever. This is a bed frame that is just like, gonna be the support for the bed that's actually gonna be in there. And then I'm getting a mattress later. And then a cabinet. I realized that I wanna make this bus a much bigger like passenger bus so that I can take all my friends to the beach or take all my friends places and go on road trips together because I'm way more social than I am like an alone person. Like I, I'm very extroverted so I'd much rather have all my friends come with me and like sacrifice some space for like some living space, you know? It'll be nice, I plan on having two beds in there or like a real bed and then a couch that turns into a bed so that I can sleep at least four people or maybe five. But I got a lot to do right now and I'm gonna get into it. It's, it's just like backbreaking work right now and then the sun's gonna go down so it's gonna be dark but we'll get it done. Love that thing. Day three, we're finally putting in the board, like the floor. I'm just like spraying all the dust out as much as I can. Kind of clean out the whole bus and then we're gonna lay down the flooring and then seal up everything so the bugs can't get in from the bottom. We'll see how it goes. All right, so this is day four or five. You know, my dad finished putting the floor down and everything. And now we're at a scrapyard, so it's literally just rows and rows of empty cars. And we gotta look through every single one of these trucks and see if we can find a bench seat to put in the front because I wanna have like another seat next to it and not just like one seat in the front. Like something like this, but without all the broken glass, you know? So we're gonna be looking around for a fat minute. I'll, uh, I'll keep you guys updated. So I wanted to show you the bus. I kind of finished it already. It's good. Just charging the diesel tank because it's snowing right now. Uh, I'm not going to show you the full thing right now. We're going to go to the Rocky Mountains. And then I'll show you after that because this is going to be our first big trip in the bus. I'm picking up my friend from the airport and then we're going to the Rockies. So I'm super stoked about that. And then driving back to Austin, then Houston to visit some friends, and then back to Tampa. So if you guys want to follow along, make sure you subscribe. But the bus is done and I'm very proud of how it turned out. It's actually snowing in my face right now, which is insane because I live in Florida and I'm not used to this. It's so cold, but I'll, uh, let's go to the Rockies right now. Uh, I'll just give you like a quick montage of what it's gonna look like, what you guys can expect from travels from this beautiful, beautiful bus right here. All right. Bond is solid gold 
We're a diamond and an emerald It took me forever to find you Cause when it's all over The love that you give Will be there to guide you in every way Now we've been Through the cold and darkest days The summer's cold Rocky Mountains, that was my first trip in the bus, and I can honestly say that was such a blast. I enjoyed every second of it. It's so cold, it snowed so much more here. Um, but yeah, this is gonna be the final run. I'll show you guys everything I did to the bus. You saw what it looked like in the beginning right here, and then to now what it looks like now. Absolutely, I um, I didn't do much to the body. Just uh, I had to take off the stop sign because it was a, like a legal reason. And technically I have to take off these stickers that say school bus because it's not a school bus. But I'll have to remove those later. So this is the front access. You're gonna come in through the main door. And then I got two seats in the front. The right here is I, I took these two seats out of an old truck that we have because I wanted to have a person be able to sit in shotgun while I drive and then it's all good. I ended up putting in a new radio system with new speakers right here, right here. There's new speakers in there and then there's two up there. It looks pretty good. To come up these stairs, first thing, you got all the storage right here. It'll end up just being these three blue boxes because inside of them I can put my storage. So right there I got towels. Right here I got pretty much nothing. And then right here I got like some pots and pans, some cooking supplies, shampoos in there. And then the rest of this should fit underneath the bus. That's just like some meat that I'm taking home. And then I got some water in case I need an emergency or something. Come over on this side. I got curtains to cover the front. So whenever I'm sleeping, it'll be completely dark and nobody can see in. I got this sick mirror, but I, as you guys know, the, tall, the bus is kind of tall. So I gotta squat down a little bit to see the mirror. But yeah, sick mirror. And then inside, this is my closet. So I keep all my clothes, shoes, and whatnot in there. And then right next to the closet, I have my sink. And then this is like a cabinet that we found, we restored it. I sanded this wood and stained it so it's a little bit darker. Feels really smooth, it's, it's great for cooking on. And then I got a propane stove, so much better than an electric stove because then you can just refill on these propane. So if I'm out of electricity, I can just use that. And then right next to that, I got my cabinets. This is where I'm gonna put my food whenever I have some, but I don't have any food because I'm here. These are my dogs trying to get in when they shouldn't be. Get out of here. <laughs> but yeah, so then this is my storage. And then this is my bed. This bed is actually so, so comfortable. Um, all the storage is underneath there, it fits well. I actually got another, speaker box right here so got good music coming from the back but now this bed is insanely comfortable the only spot that i can stand up in the bus is actually right here so if i just stand right here push this open with my head i can stand up completely straight in my bus and then you can even get like a nice view of you can actually see the sky it looks pretty cool but this is the only spot in the bus that i can stand up in so i put it right in front of my kitchen so i can wash my hands wash my face like cut food like cook on the stove and be standing up the whole time because I found that to be really important to me. Um, we also wrapped the entire bus in curtains. So these curtains move back and forth. You can move them however you want them and they, they line the whole perimeter and you can close them whenever you want. So every time I sleep, it's pretty much black here at night. Also the floor used to be like a linoleum that was like really disgusting and dirty. So I took it out and then I put all this wood flooring in and the wood floor is actually very nice. It's like, I love it. The only thing is, I didn't insulate the bus very well, so being here, it's 21 degrees outside. It's actually insanely cold in here, but once I get back down to Tampa, I really don't see that being a problem. All right, so here's the bad news. <laughs> um, the bus was working perfectly, took it to the Rocky Mountains and back, and it just got so cold. And if you don't know anything about diesel engines, a diesel engine tank has to be heated up before the engine can have combustion and start. So 
what we were trying to do is get the starter to go and then we ended up getting the engine running but eventually we like ran the starter too much so the starter broke off in the flywheel and so I have to drop the starter like take apart the engine for that and if the flywheel is busted then I have to take apart the whole transmission drop that and then get in there do the flywheel which I really hope I don't have to do luckily it's the end of the day it's freezing cold so I'm just gonna stop for the day come back and work on it in the morning this is bad because it delays my plans about like a day so I'm supposed to be in Houston right now no, I'm supposed to be in Austin, Texas right now, but things have already happened and now we're here. I'm still in Colorado, and so I might have to bail on some plans with some friends because I might just have to not go to Houston, but just straight to Tampa from Colorado, but we'll see. But yeah, guys, this is my bus. I promise you, the adventures that I'm going to have in this bus and on this channel, you guys are not going to want to miss out. I'm traveling the whole country, Mexico, Canada. I'm seeing it all. This bad boy is gonna get some mileage on it. Like you guys are gonna wanna see this. I got crazy, crazy events coming. Um, already so much planned and then so much not even planned yet. So this is one thing I wanted to say. Ever since I started my YouTube channel, my dream, my total goal dream has been to get a school bus and just travel the country. And now I have one. So like, if you guys are, I don't know, I thought that was a ridiculous dream whenever I had it. I did not expect to actually do it, but now I'm here. And so like, if you guys actually have like goals, shoot for them, because you, you actually never know what's gonna happen. Another thing is I'm gonna be traveling in every state. I don't have friends in every single state. A lot of them, but not everyone. So I'll be putting on my Instagram what state I'm in if you guys wanna keep up to date on the bus trip and all the adventures that I'm going on. So if you guys wanna see that, follow me on Instagram right here, at NotTheOgoff. And if you ever see that I'm in your state, or you see that I'm saying I'm going to your state, DM me, say, yo, I got this sick spot, I want you to check out. like. Yo, if, if there's anything, like anything fun to do, you're like, yo, if you want to make a video, come here and check this out. I'll go hang out with you guys, go do whatever. We'll film a good video and just have a good time. And that's like, that's my goal in life. And like, if I could, if you guys hit me up like that, and that was just what I did my whole year, I'd be so happy, I'd be stoked. Um, I wanted to talk about money. So this whole thing, I think I put about $480 if you add like, all the expenses of like the cabinets and everything, everything's resell, so it's not, nothing's really brand new here. But probably a total of like $480. And then the bus itself, I got super lucky because it was only $800 for this like perfectly good working bus. Well, not right now, but like it was. And uh, $800 because I got it at a silent auction and nobody else really knew about the auction. And so the only other bid was $700. So I was like, oh shoot, $800. And then I got it. So I'm gonna be traveling around on this bad boy and I couldn't be more stoked. Again, if you guys got dreams that you wanna do, do them. Like, if you wanna get a van, live in that van and travel the country, go rock climbing everywhere you want, do it. Like, you, nothing's impossible. If I, like legit, if I can do something, I swear to God, any of you guys can do it. It's, it's not that hard. Um, thank you guys so much for everybody watching my channel. If you're new here, subscribe to see the new content. And I look forward to the rest of the videos coming from this bus. Like. It's gonna be beautiful. Follow me on Instagram to keep updated. And guys, go live an exciting life. Go do something new. Go get out of your comfort zone and, and see the world because the world is so beautiful. And just the parts that I've seen on this road trip, absolutely amazing. Love you guys. Full sun life.